First of all, can I thank my uh, colleagues for, for tabling uh, this particular motion uh, here uh, today and thank uh, Kochnik Aulav uh, for assistance in drafting this. Minister, can I thank you for being present here? It's not often that we actually have a minister present uh, throughout a, a private member's debate, and I want to acknowledge that because you acknowledge that there is a significant issue here. Uh, you've publicly acknowledged that, and I think it's important uh, that that uh, is recognised. And I think all of us here in this House recognise that there are serious concerns regarding the ongoing challenges there are in relation to Angarda Siakana uh, and the current uh, industrial action, uh, unofficial industrial action that's taking place. And like what we're talking for, about here is having an immediate review of Angarda Siakana as a force. Uh, engagement with all of the stakeholders involved to be chaired by Antishuk and to make recommendations back uh, within 12 weeks, within a tight time scale, because I think something new is needed to unblock the impasse uh, that is there at the moment. And I think we do need urgent uh, and differing intervention uh, than has been the engagements to date in relation to it. Because, look, we all recognise that on Garda Siakana, as a force, is a dedicated force, has the professionalism and commitment to deliver in communities around the country. But there is a morale issue there now that does need to, to be addressed. And look, it's in all our interest, and we all want to see these issues resolved. We need to see re-engagement from all sides in relation to it. And let me say that resignations aren't going to solve any of the problems uh, that we have uh, at the moment. And the reality is that citizens in this country have a legitimate right to feel safe in their own homes. And this industrial action uh, is causing anxiety, particularly for older people uh, around this country at the moment. And the lack of constructive engagement is adding to this uh, concern. And I think it's important that all involved would uh, re-engage uh, in, in these issues. But Minister, I want you to remember one figure for me, and that's 743, 743 days. I met a middle-ranking member of the force last year of Angarda Shikana, uh, and uh, I know him for years, we, we went to school together. And I said to him, I said, how are things? And he said, 734 days, or 43 days. And I said to him, what do you mean? He said, I've only 743 days until I retire. But that is a poor reflection of where things are at within Angarda Khan at the moment. I had a constituent minister who contacted me uh, to explain that she had contacted the district headquarters of Angarda Khan in Roscommon. She would contacted Roscommon because there was no guard the station. The guard station, there was no guard in the station in Top McConnell. And she had a particular concern that she wished to express. And the uh, guard on duty uh, asked her to spell Top McConnell. Now, if the Gardaí in the local district don't even know the local Garda stations, it does give rise uh, to real concern within communities. And as you know, Minister, uh, approximately two years ago, I raised here with you in the House the issue of manpower within the Garda district uh, in Roscommon, where on the 4th of October in 2021, there was only one Garda covering an area from Bally League on the River Shannon uh, to Banlasloe on the River Suck, a very large rural Garda district uh, in County Roscommon, because 25 Garda had left the district on promotion, transfer and retirement, and hadn't been uh, replaced. And I think, Minister, that those issues uh, that were issues before there was any mention of changing uh, the COVID roster has caused huge levels of, of damage within uh, the force. Uh, and I think the issues now in relation to the roster are an expression of frustration regarding uh, the morale issues within the force that do need to be uh, urgently addressed. You know, the reality is now, Minister, that a new member of the force that is appointed will be sent uh, here to Dublin will have to travel long distances because they won't get accommodation for love or money uh, here uh, in this city. The rostering issues 
are, are only an expression of the frustration in relation to broader issues. And look, Minister, I know that you're inundated and your office is inundated with issues in relation to Garda transfers. You know, where members of the Garda have got married and cannot relocate back. Uh, I have a constituent at the moment, uh, a couple, both of the members of the force, uh, based in a far-flung region, built a house locally, are now paying a mortgage for that house uh, locally, cannot live in that house at home because they cannot get a transfer back to uh, anywhere within reasonable commuting distance uh, of their home. And that flexibility needs to be reintroduced in the force, which has been uh, sadly lacking uh, in recent uh, times. And I know it's down to, to manpower issues as well, but it does need to be urgently addressed. Now, Minister, both you, the Taoiseach here yesterday, the Gardaí on the ground and Gardaí management, everyone tells us that the old roster is not fit for purpose. And yes, you know, we are going back to that old roster. And except the talks in relation to the issue of the roster have been ongoing and ongoing for a considerable uh, period of time. But can I respectfully suggest to you, Minister, that the issue of rostering itself should be taken out of this process and should be dealt with independently. And the reason that I say that, Minister, is that this is as much an issue in relation to a mathematical calculation as it is in relation to industrial relations. And I have my colleague here from Waterford beside me. Waterford University Hospital engaged with Science Foundation Ireland uh, and some of the top mathematicians in this country to come up with a new model of, of outpatient appointments uh, in Waterford that transformed the operation of the outpatient clinics at Waterford University Hospital. And I would suggest that the same should be done with the rostering issue at the moment. We, everyone accepts that the old roster doesn't work. Uh, we have issues with the current roster. Let's get some of the best brains in this country to come up with a practical implementable solution that deals with the needs that management have within Angarda Síochána in relation to this, but also deals with the genuine concerns that members of the force have uh, as well on the ground. And in the interim, Minister, I would urge you to take on board the, the proposal in our motion to have a 12-week tight review spearheaded by the Taoiseach to actually come up with constructive recommendations to add a long-term solution to this issue. I commend the motion to the House.